You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. Covering all conversation, from dating to getting revenge on your exes. This is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis on World Improv Network. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Talking Points. My name is Jerome Carmichael. I'm filling in for Shabazz Davis this week, who's going swimming in a pool of Coca-Cola tonight. Don't get too sticky, Shabazz. (laughs) Ah, well, we're going to tackle a weighty issue on tonight's issue of Talking Points. Marriage. Does it still count if you don't have it in a church and just go to a justice of the peace? We have here tonight with us justice of the peace... Roland Rollerson. Hello. It is a pleasure to be here. Uh, Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you, Mr. Rollerson. Uh, You've come to us all the way from uh, northern Wyoming, uh, the Mm -hmm. town of Clarkston. That's right. Clarkston is a small town. It's a quiet town. And, uh, well, I've, I've married or legally bonded... Uh, just about everybody in that town. So, so, uh, Mr. Rollerson, you have chosen to eschew the word marriage when it pertains to what you, you have done. Well, I think there is a difference, but, uh, uh, I, 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 well, well, Mr. Rollerson, what is yes. that difference? What, what, what is a legal bond that marriage is not? Well, I would say that, uh, a legal bond, uh, is something that we can all get behind, whereas marriage is something that we can't because it's exclusive mm. to some churches and religious institutions. Whereas Where, the law is is just for everyone. It's pervasive. Mm-hmm. We we all abide by the law, whereas we do not all abide by certain scriptures or dogmas and what have you. Mm. Now, uh, why have you uh, uh, chosen to take this fight to to the people? Why why you know you you've been a quiet justice of the peace in Clarkston mm-hmm. for what, nigh on forty two years. That's right. And now you're choosing to to leave and to to get out into the country. Why evangelize now? Well, first of all, I'm not evangelizing. I I'm proselytizing. Mm. Uh, because it's prose. This is just legal prose. And I think it's important for people to see that, uh, man's law, uh, in, in many senses supersedes the laws, uh, in, of, of, of religious text. Because we can all agree on those. Mm. We can all look at the Constitution and say, yeah. That's our constitution. Yeah. Whereas, uh, uh, you everyone know, celebrates July 4th. And that's right. Everybody does in the United States of America. Uh, yes. Now, not everyone agrees with you that, that a legal bond is the ultimate form of commitment. Yeah. Um, uh, we have here, uh, a Mr. Soren Kraus. Uh, Soren, welcome to the show. Uh, now, I am told you have married uh, at least 11 different people, um, and you feel that, that marriage is, is a much more fulfilling bond than, than a, a quote-unquote legal bond? I, I, I very much think that is the case. Matter of fact, all 11 people that I've married, I've married them to my sister. And she is extremely happy mm. with all 11 of those marriages. Mm-hmm. It, um, well, the only downside is damn near bank- bankrupt our family because of the costs. But well, well now, uh, Mr. Mr. Krauss, were these marriages, uh, these 11 marriages, simultaneous or consecutive? They were consecutive. Mm, uh, we did okay. them uh, every single day for 11 days straight. Mm. And we did them in Nevada in the hills. Overlooking the beautiful bluffs and streams oh, that into beautiful. the desert, and 
Matter of fact, I made sure to purchase all the land around there so I could uh, make all these ceremonies happen consecutively. And it cost a lot of money, but... Yeah, I think we may have just uh, put a pin in that bankruptcy question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but love is eternal, and love is divine. It is not just a piece of paper for oh. the justice of the peace to sign off on. So now this is... that. Uh, I not, think uh, that's a very important about. point. Yes. It's, you know, it's about two people coming to a decision on their own and... Without love involved. Well, I mean, that's up to them, isn't it? Oh. That's, that's you don't th- dictate that with a legal bond. That's right. It's it's just it's just a legal bond. That's all it is. Love optional. Love, absolutely. You know, mm. that's it's up for people to decide why they're they're getting bonded bondage. Well, well, Mr. Carmichael, what Mr. Rollerson might not have told you about his bio or CV up there in this tiny town of. Wyoming and Clarkston is that he's actually one of the largest shareholders of Match.com and I think he's trying to use his well, neutral position to drive in the long term internet dating Mm. Strong accusations that you are financially motivated Uh, I won't deny I do own a lot of a lot of stock Mm. in Mm Match.com That has nothing to do, though, with the occupation that I've held now for uh, more than 42 years as a justice of the peace. Well, Mr. Rollerson, I, if you allow me to be, well, shall we say, candid, I know that oh, all about you. Everyone in the little town of Larkston knows about you. Hey, if you've got something on me, I, I spill the beans. i tell you exactly what it is. Hmm. It's all mathematics. Your father and your grandfather were great mathematicians, and you think that marriage and bonds put between two people is strictly mathematics. It is not. It's divine love. And there is no website like Match that can make you millions of dollars that will make people happy. It is pure divine bliss that makes people happy, and that's why I'm willing to go broke for it. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Krauss... You're willing to sacrifice everything for love. Everything for love. Everything. Every single thing I have given for love. And there's nothing I wouldn't do for love. And I would do love of what? I mean, for love. Oh. The Greeks I thought there were like love. seven different kinds of love. There's fraternal love. There's pa- paternal and maternal love. There's romantic love. I mean, there's love between friends. I mean, it's mathematical. Mr. Rollerson? No, it's uh, categorization. I mean, it's we're just talking about different kinds of relationships. I'm just... People ever, can... What would you... If, if two friends who had a lot of respect and love for each other... Uh, I mean, they're not romantic or anything, but they still have a, a kind of love. Uh, uh, would you deny them the opportunity uh, to... To, to legally bond. To legally bond. I mean, you mm. wouldn't allow them for marriage, it sounds well, like. Well, what I would do is... Because it doesn't fit into your idea of love. Well, it's very simple. The, the best way to prove whether or not a quote-unquote couple should be legally bonded to each other... Okay. After finding divine love, if they can listen to... You're going to prove this? I can prove You're this. You're about to prove this. this okay. Is, this is not a theory. This is a law. And oh, law. Okay, it's, yeah, it's, I'm it's, interested it's, in law. Mm. Mm. So Maybe the, we've found some common ground. Yes, this is... This is not a, likely. This is a very, very staunch law, kind of like uh, Einstein's law of, of relativity. And I don't was, know if he did love... Really, I mean, that was a theory. I mean, he did a lot of research, and he thought hard this, about Mr. it. Try this, Mr. Rollerson, next time right. you, you bond somebody up there in Wyoming. Mm-hmm. Make the two people that want to get together listen 20 straight songs on repeat. Meet love mm. song. Mm. I'm not going to... Do mm. everything for love. I'm and not going to do that. Sing it if that's not going to get two people to love each other, I don't know what will. That is the way you well, should live I, your life. You, really? I, I, I no, that's the most romantic song that's ever been written. Um, now, I think we've heard we've heard a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of science, of. a lot about love today. And unfortunately, I don't think we've bottom lined this issue. But a great discussion tonight, and uh, thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> and good night, America. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or the KZKO Wind Blog during the commercial break of what issues the Wind Counselors can help you with during Good, Bad, Ugly. Next on KZKO.